Hey everybody, welcome back to Drifting Dreams Fabrication. Today we're going to be working on the exhaust for the BMW. Uh, we're starting over, redoing it all because the last one was just a fail. Um, sorry it's been a little bit. I've uh, just been getting caught up with life and like things get busy and I get sidetracked. But here we are today. Um, I'm going to do as much as I can with the little amount of time I got. So let's get right into it. But got some new stainless 304 three inch Woo. she's pretty <laughs> Okay, so I had a little mishaps with this other V-band, wherever it went. Uh, let me just show y'all. Um, so the face of this one, you can see, is a lot thicker than that one. And I think that this is the wrong V-band anyways. I don't remember where I ordered this from. But I pulled it off the other exhaust, cleaned it up, finally got it on. Been fighting it for the past 20 minutes. But... Y'all can see the difference. All right, now that we're ready to go back to cut, now I can't find my masking tape. I'll take y'all and show y'all what I got going so far. Man, this thing's so sexy. I love this car. Woo. But you see, the next one's gonna angle it right here. And I'm gonna redo this wire tuck that I did. Um, I'm gonna take it and run it out like right down here or something. And then I'll fix that hole later. Um, but it's just in the way, it'll get melted. But the goal is, is to try and come out and run about right here or so. And then I'm going to have my O2 sensor bungs on the bottom side right about here. Well, one about right here on this one. And then one right here on like this third or fourth one. But y'all get the concept. peek on what we got going so far so we've been doing 10 degree cuts 10 degree cuts 10 degree cuts and we just did a 15 degree cut bring it more this way and we also just turned it up to try to angle it down so As y'all can kind of see. But there's always this saying, uh, <laughs> you can't polish a turd. Well, you can throw a lot of money at a turd though. this angle on this one but if I get a straight piece I wonder where it's gonna put me so I'm gonna cut off a straight piece and see where that puts me um yeah but 
thinking that the O2, first O2 sensor is gonna go right about here. And the second one's gonna go right about here. Um, I am gonna have to extend the O2 sensor wires all the way up here. They fall right there underneath the bottom of the motor. But, she looks good. everybody well that's pretty much it and that's all i can really do today um pretty much got it built very simple you know just a few pie cuts and i mean it's going out exactly where i want it to right there uh that plastic piece is obviously going to be taken out because it will melt but Fairly simple. It's got a nice turn to it, not no sharp angles. You know, so I'll be able to get a nice flow out of there. But, yeah. Hey everybody, sorry about the short build video, but uh, yesterday after I finished building the exhaust at home and had it all taped up, I uh, took it to school and found a teacher that could help me take it up um and so i got a little bit of footage you know just tack up um i wish i would have gotten him actually laying down beads but i was helping him hold the pipe uh but the exhaust is put together properly um so that's exciting so enjoy I just want to thank y'all for joining me along for this uh, build process with the car and um, everything that uh, goes along with it and keeping up. I uh, appreciate it a lot. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. If you guys have any tips, tricks, uh, questions, concerns, put it in the comments. You know, feel free to look me up on my socials, you know, and, uh, you know, ask questions or follow up on the builds. Um, but other than that, you guys have a great day and peace out.